central element in the Day of the Dead celebrations, of course, the ofrenda or altar. Uh, this altar brings together the key meanings of the Day of the Dead, including papel picado. Uh, this means uh, perforated paper. And this paper is an ephemeral material that is also beautiful. It represents the fragility of life. Papel picado is actually made traditionally using a tool called a fierito. It's a little a pick that is used to take a whole bunch of paper that has been designed and then cut out the, uh, the figures and uh, the images that people want to have. And then as you see here in the Peabody Museum, these are strung together, these images, these pieces of paper are strung together with string and they're called banderitas. And you'll see them throughout the Peabody Museum. Sometimes uh, in large numbers, they create a kind of a sense of almost like waves of these papers coming in from the ocean. The designs uh, of Papel Picado are really some of the most enjoyable parts of Day of the Dead. Um, these designs uh, go anywhere from jeweled skulls, which represent sort of the valued, uh, the love people had for the deceased. Uh, there can also be humorous scenes. For instance, uh, what you'll see here in the museum is a scene of a skeleton who is riding on a bicycle. Uh, if the scene were to be fully shown, he's often carrying bread uh, to the Bread of the Dead celebrations, often on his head in a big bread basket. Uh, one of the other most popular images from Day of the Dead uh, is a figure of a woman. This was a, was a finely dressed woman with an elaborate European hat. She's a skeleton herself. Uh, and she is known as La Catrina. Uh, and this is an image of the, the kind of fancy dressed woman who is deceased, but who still is kind of celebrating her vanity uh, in, in the world, uh, as she did here, but also in the world of the dead. A lot of the images that you see carved into the papel picado come from a very famous Mexican artist uh, from the 19th and 20th century, named Jose uh, Guadalupe Posada. Posada was himself an engraver uh, and a fine printmaker who uh, came to make kind of political statements in some of his drawings. Uh, and he's the one, for instance, who, who took the skeleton and uh, turned the skeleton image into presentations of political figures, uh, figures that uh, he and others wanted to make fun of during a period of Mexican history when Mexicans were looking toward Europe, for instance, for parts of their identity. Uh, so he took the skeleton and he made the skeleton a kind of a statement of the vanity of human beings. Uh, in Mexico. And this has been picked up by Dia de los Muertos artists uh, in all kinds of ways, even in some ways that the Posada wouldn't have imagined. Uh, and you'll see uh, his influence in uh, this art uh, that is uh, growing so much in, in Mexico. What, the other thing to say about the evolution and the travel of Day of the Dead is that in the 19, uh, early 1900s, uh, there were certain specific towns in the state of Puebla that uh, were, were specialists made uh, papel picado. Um, these, these towns uh, became, became known for this craft. It began to spread to other parts of Puebla and Oaxaca, eventually came to Mexico City. And from there, now it's traveled to Europe and the United States and all the way here to the Peabody.